the buy button and swap are both officially working on the safemoon.net website. I'm going to have a link to this directly in the description so you guys don't get confused with anything. This is the official website for SafeMoon. All right. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys just a little bit of what's going on. Keep in mind that the Android and the iOS wallet has not been released just yet. But if you're trying to buy SafeMoon or you're trying to do a little bit of a swap, we do have an update for you on that. I want to give you guys the latest information that was actually shared by the SafeMoon team. So I'm going to pull this up right now. This is posted by Hank. He said the buy button is live on the website. The swap is live on the website. The swap currently only has the following pairs. This is Ethereum to PSafeMoon and vice versa which in case you were wondering, PSafeMoon is still SafeMoon. It's just existing on the Ethereum blockchain instead of being over on the Binance Smart Chain. And then we also have Binance Smart Chain to the SafeMoon and vice versa. I'm still working on adding the other pairs right now. I'll post another update when I have all of them listed working properly. Known bugs, suggestions so far, some issues connect straight from browser on iOS, still need to add a disconnect wallet button, the filter is stuck with showing BNB. PSafeMoon swaps gives the incorrect Explorer link to Etherscan. I'm working on resolving these issues slash additional pairs, adding suggestions. All right, so I don't have one of those screen mirror things for your phone. But the good news is this is actually really easy. So I'm going to walk you through the website a little bit. But if you're on your phone and you want to be able to access this, you can do it too. You just don't have the app, so... Uh, all right, let's go ahead and start with the website itself. So if you take a look at the website, you go to the main page, get the buy now and the swap function. I already have connected my MetaMask. You can't quite see it. It's off the screen. But as an extension, I have my MetaMask. So for you, maybe you're connecting your trust wallet or one of your other wallets. So you got as an option there, right? You're going to click on buy now, and it's going to pull up wire. I mentioned this earlier. Wire is absolutely amazing that they got paired up with this there was an article that was written that talked about how wire actually is working with visa and wire in this instance i personally think is much better than simplex because this allows for ach and for wire transfers what does that mean that means that if your bank says hey we're not allowing you to use your debit card to buy crypto anymore like for example chase so if you do ACH, some of the banks will say, oh yeah, we'll let you still do crypto, but it has to be through ACH. So it's like you're providing your uh, routing number and your uh, account number, right? So it's a pretty standard thing. If you go take a look, for example, on Binance, it's a similar situation. You need to do the ACH with that too. So Wire announced even on their Twitter that they partnered up with this. You're going to put in your amount. You guys can see here it says your purchase limit is $1,000 USA only. Verify yourself to purchase up to $2,500 per day. You got your Ethereum address there. You got one USD. And then these are the different options that it's showing you guys here. So as it is, it looks like, let's see, I don't think they got direct to SafeMoon. Yeah, that would have been nice. However, what you can do is you can get to the Ethereum, you can get to the Bitcoin, you can get to the uh, Binance United States dollar. That's not the BNB, it's the BUSD. And yeah, so it looks like your primary option is, uh, as of the moment, going to be more likely if you're working with the Ethereum. But as mentioned from Hank, he's still working on adding the other pairs. This is just as of the time of making this video. So they're working really hard, and we got something to start with at least. And so you got two options. You can either do Apple Pay or you could do card payments, which is absolutely awesome. And you got your exchange rate, everything that's being listed right here as well. And so uh, really looking forward to being able to play with this more. I'm not going to actually go through the process right now and do the purchase. But let's go ahead and cover what you need to do on your phone. So in this example, I'm going to be using Trust Wallet. So normally you might think, okay, I need to go to the website for SafeMoon, right? If I go to the SafeMoon website, I'm going to go here on a regular browser and click on Buy Now. That's not going to work. So what you need to do is actually open up your Trust Wallet. And you're going to need to go search or enter website URL. And when you're going to go to the very top for this, uh, for iOS, by the way, this is going to be a little bit different for you guys. For you, you can try to do the actual browser itself. 
the big thing is that you need to make sure that your Trust Wallet is basically native. So if you have a browser that gives you the option to essentially have Trust Wallet as an extension or it gives you the pop-up for it, then great. This might be a little bit more focused at the moment on Android, which is the device that I'm using. So anyways, you're gonna go to the DApps tab. So on the DApps tab, uh, I can kind of show you guys just a little bit. It's down here towards the bottom. It's the second one on the bottom. You click on that and then there's a browser at the very top. Right at the very top, you're gonna type in SafeMoon's website, safemoon.net. And when you do that, you're actually going to the SafeMoon website, but it's through the Trust Wallet. So now if I click on the Buy Now button, it's gonna say Home wants to connect to your wallet. I know it's very hard to see and it's blurry. I'm just giving you guys a really rough idea, okay? Home wants to connect to your wallet, view your wallet balance and activity, request approval for transactions. And then you can click on connect and proceed through the steps to finalize everything through there. Okay, so it's a start. I know it's not perfect. People always expect perfect and want perfect, but you know, <laughs> lower your expectations, all right? It's nice to see that we've got something. People keep playing, oh yeah, there's no wallet, no this and that, all right. Well, look, you got... It's incredible people going in partnering with this stuff. You got wire. This is awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video there. And yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. Hit the thumbs up like button. I'm going to keep you guys posted on things as soon as I can on this stuff. And also feel free to share this video on social media. Maybe it'll help some other people being able to figure out what the heck is going on with all of this. Okay. And uh, yeah, make sure that you guys actually have your wallet connected. If you're trying to click on the buy now button and it's not pulling up anything, you probably haven't actually connected your wallet yet. So yeah, uh, do not show anybody your wallet address. Do not show people your balance. Uh, you know, don't make yourself a target for this stuff, guys. Protect yourselves, right? Don't send your key phrase, your private keys to a supposed trust wallet support. That's a scam. To a safe moon support thing. That's a scam. You're gonna lose your money. Do not do it. Do not do it. And only download any of this stuff right now through the safemoon.net website. You try to go through the app store, you're probably gonna get scammed, okay? So thank you guys so much. Let us know what you guys think in the comments down below and I will see you in the next episode.